That a beast. That a bin vey. Come on then. Come on. Give's a big hug. Give's a big hug. You can. We're allowed to do it. He's letting us. Ain't he gracious, eh? You can give me a kiss if you want to. Not you, Magic of Java. You ain't brush your teeth. Yeah, it's how, how silly, how ridiculous. Right, you may, you may hug. I mean, re really. Oh, Boris, mate, I'll tell you what you can do and can't do. Um, ridiculous. But I don't want to be the naysayer. I know I've got the face for this. Um, date it a minute because I'm at work, I'm on my dinner break. Tuna. Of course it is, I've been to the gym. It was either going to be that or chicken breast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm on my dinner break, so <clears throat> don't want to be the, the naysayer and the doom monger. But you just know what's coming. You just you can read it like uh, like a children children's book. It's um it'll be well we'll let you get back to normal. Right, and people will go, oh, oh great, normality, normality. And then they'll say, well, oh, oh, but, but, um, but before you do, you're not going to have to have that. And if you don't, then you're a troublemaker, and you're a murderer, and you're spoiling it for everybody else. And everybody else sort of blame you because it's you that's causing the problems. So get this in you. There's only you in the street who I. Do you want them all to laugh at you? Do you want to be the odd one out? Do you? And it's, it's going to be that. It's going to be this guilt trip again. You you will get it. You will add to profit. You will follow the agenda. You will obey. You know, look at all these celebrities telling you. You know, even even footballers. Footballers. You know, that's where I, I generally get my uh, medical advice from somebody who kicks a pig's bladder round a, 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 a square of grass. But um, that's what it'll be. It'll, it'll be... Um, They'll, they'll pull these so-called freedoms away. They, they, these freedoms are ours, intrinsically ours as, our, as human beings. It's not their right or privilege to take these freedoms away from us. But they have done because they've been allowed to do it by some people. We've resisted. Um, but other people, they've, they've been complicit and they've allowed them to do it. Now they're trying to uh, give you back piecemeal, but it's, it's, it's a psychological trick. They'll snatch it away again. It's cat and mouse. It's torment. It's like how a cat catches a mouse and torments it. It, it, it tortures it. It lets it go, grabs it, pulls it back and plays with it. It's to, it's a, yeah, wicked. It's to, to grind the, and wear the, the mouse out. It's plain. And that's what I'm going to do. And I can, I can see it's happening. We all can. We, we, I think we've all mentioned it. It's, um, I hope it don't happen, in all, in all these videos I hope I'm wrong, but I have seen much evidence yet to suggest that I'm, I'm completely wrong in, in the, the thrust of what I'm saying. Um, I'm just covering this up because it's, it, it's, ain't, it's ain't nobody's business where I'll work, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to, um, Snatch this away. You've got this Volkswagen variant now, uh, what I'm calling the the Vinda flu. I think I think that's an excellent name. I don't know how they come up with these names. It uh, it made me uh, laugh. It was you know the Vinda flu. But um, where did the other ones go? You know you, you've had all these other ones. You've had the uh, the the you know the Planet Mercury one, the 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 Antarctica one. You know, the, uh, I made the joke in my previous video, you know, the, the Dudley Old Street one and the Neverton bus station one. You, you're coming out of all this rubbish and then people are forgetting about it or them getting used to it after about a week. So they're just bringing more crap out to try and scare them and it, it's working cause, because that's what you're dealing with nowadays. It's, uh, I don't know. That's a bit noisy, isn't it? I think uh, there's some kind of... Comp compressed gas venting I'm venting but I'm not compressed gas not today anyway for the bad cabbage maybe but the um, also coming back to the magic of Java I mentioned you twice today um, you mentioned uh, 
about the state broadcaster, the, the state propaganda station, about what happened last Saturday at Cardiff, Manchester and in London. It wasn't exactly a blockade, but it was, um, it was, it was a, a, a visible sign, shall we say, to them, that we're on to you. But you're not fit for purpose, you're not objective, um, we're on to you. We're going to either shut you down or kick you into changing one of the two, but you ain't going to get away with this. And what's going to happen is only more and more people are going to wake up to it. So you better deal with it now, sooner rather than later. <clears throat> and I think that's what Saturday proved. Now, in these videos, I've never told anybody to do. I've never tried to lead anybody. I've never tried to influence anybody's actions. Tell them what I think they should do. Um, I'm not here to command or, or anything like that. But what I can say is there's things in life that I would actually like to see. Um, I'd like to see that Hawker Typhoon flying again with the Napier Cyber Engine. That would be fantastic for me. And that, that's due in a couple of years' time. So that's one thing I'd like to see. Another thing I'd like to see is um, on the 29th, if there's a million people standing around the BBC in front of that statue which, as I understand it, again, correct me if I'm wrong, was chiselled by a sculptor who had gone on record for screwing his teenage daughters and the family dog. So this is what the BBC has got um, as their kind of um, saucy Nancy on the front of their prey with their building. But it'd be great if there was a million people there. I ain't saying you should. I'm saying I'd, if, if, if I saw it, I would enjoy it. The same as I'd enjoy seeing that Orca Typhoon fly with the Napier Sabre engine. But uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, they can still ignore it. They can still ignore it. Um, it don't matter whether all three studios, Manchester, Cardiff and London, are completely emmed in by uh, uh, noise. They'll shift the broadcast somewhere else or play pre-recorded stuff. I know, I know the wills. I won't achieve anything in that respect. But at least it'll be that science and we're on to you. You know, you, your time's running out. You've, you've, you've done it a bit once too often. This isn't what you're for. This isn't what people pay the licence fee for. This isn't objective. This is, um, this is all wrong and we ain't going to let let you get away with it. An example of which um, I found my mum yesterday and I said did you go because I know I a lot to go on these protests I says did you go to the one in Brum on Saturday I says mum I didn't know I says I'd I feel up to it to be honest I stopped in the flat I'd I feel great so I'd I bother and uh, I says I bet it was on the telly was it and I says well we don't say, say anything I says but your, your auntie Edie now EDA really my auntie as a relative, a, a distant relative who lives in the same street and is in the 90s and I'll tell you what, is doing well in the, in the 90s you'd think I was in her in a, in a, a late 60s or 70s the, the way it goes but anyway, I says, my mum says your aunt ED mentioned it, I said it's seen it on the television I said oh that, that, that's interesting, yeah, it's really surprised me for the um, the propaganda station I says yeah, it was something about the Palestinians worry I thought, you know, you, you, you've got all that going on against the BBC and they'll ignore it but they'll focus on a much much smaller group um, doing another protest um, they will face up to it will they Trying to think what else I can tell you. Um, not a great deal at the minute today, I think. So looks like I'm gonna. I've got about 20 minutes left on me on me dinner. I'm gonna um, crack on this afternoon. So if I think of anything else, I'll get back to you. One thing I will mention is that, as you as you you know, I've I've got zero interest in football. You know, I don't like more about, but I know other people. Um, and very enthusiastic about it and my friend Marty, you, 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 you know well, he's one of them and his club, his favourite team, um, Leicester, 
They've won the FA Cup apparently. He sent me a message the other day, so I'm, I'm ecstatic for him. That's good. That's really good when something that you're passionate about and brings you enjoyment and you're really into and you followed all your life gets some kind of success. So, um, well done, Marty. So, all right, and I'll probably remember somewhere as soon as I stop recording. And if so, I'll, um, I'll record it later on when I get warm. All right, then. God bless.